to point out the message that you're talking, which is, which is unity. You know, unity is, is God's love as a unifying force is, is, the, is the one thing that can be counted on. No matter when, what the generation is, no matter what the, the politics are, no matter the country. Um, and so I'm heartened to hear you say that. And it's not that I don't know it. I just need to hear it myself. You know? there's, a, there's a beautiful verse from the Bhagavad Gita. And when I first heard this verse, I remember thinking, that's it. This is what I'm looking for. Ah, beautiful. And, and that verse is Vidyavanaya Sampane Brahmani Gavihastini Suni Chaiva Supakeja Pandita Samadarshana. The definition of wisdom, the definition of enlightenment, the definition of knowledge, according to the Gita, is to see all living beings with equal vision. Whether one is white or black or red or brown or yellow, whether one is male or female, whether one is a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim or a Jain or a Sikh or a Baha'i or a Buddhist or a Hindu, whether one is from the East or the West, whatever nationality, whether one is from a, a, a wealthy social status or, or a, a, a simple social status, to see the equality of all beings and the Gita even extends whether one's a human or a dog or a cat or an elephant or a cow, wherever there's life, there is the pursuit of happiness. Uh -huh. You know, the bird in the tree, I was just looking at a bird today in a tree and he's just looking for happiness or she, I can't really distinguish, but, but, that, but that bird was looking for happiness, you know, looking for food, looking for protection. And everyone's looking for happiness. And it's the nature of the soul, ananda mayobhyasha, to seek pleasure. And because originally the nature of the soul is ananda, it's full of pleasure. And that pleasure is tasting the sweetness of God's love. Because mm -hmm. um, things could give some amount of pleasure to the mind and to the physical senses, but things cannot give satisfaction to the heart. Only to love and be loved gives satisfaction to the heart. And the origin of, of that is God's love and sharing that God's love with all beings and mm. to our to our capacity. Yeah. Um, and that's that's actually what is at the heart of all true spiritual paths. And that's just so much needed. And we see when we disconnect from ourself, Emerson said, there's so many chaotic situations in this world because human beings are disconnected from their own selves. And that journey within, that connection to ourself actually equips us with a foundation where we can express our love through compassion. The most universal principle of Dharma is the value and the character of a compassionate lifestyle. That's something all spirituality has in common, to seek to live in a spirit of compassion, to mm. see, um, to, in, in, the, in the Vedic literatures, there's a beautiful, statement, sarve sukhano bhavantu, that the whole purpose of dharma or religion is to be in a mood where our prayer is, may all beings be happy. 